Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our in-depth review of the new Dyson V11 Outsize. After putting it through a lot of tests over the last week, I was really impressed and am excited to get into all the details. So links in the description for current prices and let's get started. Just to be clear, this is not a sponsored review. I bought this vacuum with my own money and I'm not being paid to say any of this. So as always, I'll show you the good stuff as well as the not so good stuff. Let's get the obvious stuff out of the way first. It gets its name, the V11 Outsize size because it has some big features, like the 150% bigger dust bin compared to the previous V11. The bin still operates the exact same way as the last two generations by the trombone-like emptying handle. It also has a 25% bigger 12.5 inch wide floor head. I'll talk more about this when we discuss its pickup ability, but in terms of its size, I prefer the bigger cleaner head on the outsize, though there is a little bit of trade-off since the new head is not as agile as its predecessors in tight spaces, but all in all, I feel like the bigger features really go with the next pro, which is its big time power. First, you should know that the V11 outsize, like the other V11, has three power settings. For simplicity, let's call them low, medium, and high power. We measure suction and airflow at various places on the vacuum and in all of its power settings, and we found that the V11 outsize is the most powerful cordless vacuum we've ever tested. Dyson says that the V11 outsize has 20% more power than the previous version, and that seems to check out with our numbers, but the point I wanted to make was that the previous V11 was already light years ahead of its cordless stick vacuum competitors in terms of power. So if this was a race, the V11 outsize would be lapping its competition at this point. If you're wondering what good all that power is, the first thing that I would say is carpet deep cleaning. Cordless vacuums need to have a lot of power in order to get that dirt that hides at the bottom of carpets, and the V11 outsize got a perfect 100 in our deep clean test where we embed 100 grams of sand into medium pile carpet and weigh the bins before and after. It also did amazing with the crevice pickup test where it picked up the debris from both crevices on the first forward pass in high power mode, which shows high airflow as well as an excellent seal on hard floors. One of my favorite upgrades with the V11 outsize though is the new battery situation. Dyson makes some of the best batteries in the industry. For example, in the previous generation of the V11, it had the most power to battery life ratio than any vacuum I know of, and by quite a lot. It was such an advantage for Dyson that other companies started offering two batteries batteries in the box so that they could claim longer battery life numbers than the Dysons. Well, not only has Dyson built a better battery, they made it removable with a click of a button, which I think is one of those things that was holding the Dyson cordless vacuums back from near perfection. And they're offering two of them. It's a battery upgrade hat trick. There's a lot of variations in terms of battery life with different power settings and different attachments, but here are Dyson's numbers, which we confirmed in our tests. And in fact, in our tests, the vacuum always outperformed Dyson specs by quite a bit, but just taking the official numbers it was amazing, and when you add that extra battery, there really is no better option out there if battery life is important to you. Like the previous version, the V11 outsize has some fairly advanced features, including the LCD screen, where you can change the power setting, and it shows you the remaining battery life depending on your power setting and the attachment being used, which I find to be extremely helpful to know exactly how long I have to vacuum in a given situation. The screen can also show you other notifications like warnings about blockages and demos on how to remove that blockage. The other advanced feature is a sensor in the cleaner head that can tell what kind of surface you're vacuuming, and when you have it in auto mode, it will automatically adjust the suction. More for carpets, less for hard floors. And the battery life numbers on the LCD screen will change depending on how much suction is currently being used. The benefit of this is efficiency. You're getting the best possible clean with the longest possible battery life, and it really is a big advance for cordless vacuums in general. Another pro is that like the other Dysons, it's a sealed system with HEPA filtration, something that you only find on high-end cordless vacuums, so it's not going to leak what it vacuums up, and it keeps your air as clean as it was when you started vacuuming. It came with a lot of attachments and extras, everything from the standard suction-type attachments I've come to expect, but also the mini motorized tool, which is great for small jobs like upholstery. It has a wall mount and two different chargers for the two batteries, which is something that not every vacuum company thinks to provide. As far as the pickup tests, it was also really impressive. I tested it on carpet and and hard floors with a variety of debris types and sizes and found that it could handle everything I threw at it from fine to extra large debris. It should be noted that like the V10 and V11, the cleaner head has adjustable gates that can be opened up all the way to allow for larger debris, which reduces the seal a little bit, but I actually prefer them opened up unless I am specifically deep cleaning carpets. Notably, it had no trouble with extra large debris getting stuck in the intake, which has been a problem in the past with some of the Dysons like the V10, but I guess the large 
larger size also means a larger air intake. Either way, I was super impressed with its pickup ability across the board. So let's move on to the negative stuff, and let's start off with the elephant in the room, its weight. I weighed the handle at five pounds and six ounces, which is a full pound heavier than the V11 torque drive, which in itself was almost a pound heavier than the V10. So we're talking about a monster of a machine here, at least in terms of cordless vacuums. Subscribers of this channel are probably tired of me saying that I think these cordless stick vacuums put too much weight on the forearm, and the V11 outsize is certainly no exception. In its defense though, I did try to tire my arm out by vacuuming with it for a long time, and the only thing I really noticed was that my finger was getting tired from holding the trigger down. It really wasn't that bad, especially if you trade off arms from time to time, though I would say that using it for above floor cleaning, like with the attachments, would probably get old pretty quick. A few other nitpicks would include that, like the previous generations, because its suction was so strong, if you have really thick carpets, it can be kind of hard to push. I didn't notice this at all on lower carpets, and I found that you could open up the gates to let more air in, and it alleviates the problem almost completely, even on thicker carpets. It's also fairly loud, at least on max power, though not as loud as the older V11 on max power for some reason. It was pretty good at resisting hair tangles to a certain point, but at about one gram of 14 inch hair, I started to see about 35% of the hair getting tangled on the brush, but I'll need to do more tests to get an average amount. And then there is the price. This is a very pricey vacuum, and while I think it's worth it in terms of what other companies are offering at similar prices, it's still very expensive, so it gets a few points knocked off for that in my book. The bottom line though is that the V11 outsize is one of the best upgrades I've seen a company offer, and it now stands as the undisputed king of cordless vacuums with the best power and battery life numbers out there, and a ton of advanced extras that really make a difference. I'll be doing in-depth comparisons of the V11 outsize and all the other Dysons coming up in the next few weeks, so be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars for that. Links in the description for current prices, and thanks for watching.